Hey friends, welcome back. We finally have the RTX 30 series finally announced from NVIDIA. No, it's not the RTX 21 series. They in fact didn't even really make mention of the fact that they were hyping up the number 21 so much, but now we've got it. The flagship RTX card is coming in as the RTX 3080. Yeah, that's right, not the 3090. And Jensen's NVIDIA called the RTX 3080 the flagship, but comes in at a good price point of $699 for what they're calling double the performance of the RTX 2080. So the exact same price as the 2080 and the 2080 Super, but double the performance of the 2080. Again, this is gonna be NVIDIA's side of things. This is their benchmarks. These are not official numbers. So obviously wait till reviews come out before you actually get the idea of what they're going to perform like but from nvidia side of things these are looking to be the cards that people were waiting for with jensen specifically saying everybody who was on the 10 series and was disappointed by the 20 series this is the card that is safe to upgrade to so the 3080 is the main flagship card that's coming in at 699 being double the performance in shaders double the performance in ray tracing and then double the performance in tensor core performance or as jensen wanted to call it the triple double which is just phenomenal so a triple double you're getting double the performance in the 30 series over the 20 series in all three categories that matter ray tracing ai performance and then just regular gaming performance which is pretty phenomenal 3080 is faster damn than 2080 it's gonna GI. come in at 700 dollars. 3080 is twice the performance of 2080 at the same price Ampere is the biggest generational leap we've ever had. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080, our new flagship GPU. Powered by Ampere, our second generation RTX it's GPU. It's not on the RTX. website yet. I want to buy it. Incredible amounts of processing in the shader, RT ray tracing core, Damn it, Jensen, and give tensor it to me. core for processing AI. 10 gigabytes of G6X, twice the processing power of 2080. And at the same price, 30 teraflops. Damn. Available September 17th. Ladies and gentlemen, NVIDIA's new Ampere GPU, our second generation RTX, 28 billion transistors built on Samsung 8 in NVIDIA custom process. Okay, so it's Samsung. All three processors double rates over Turing, a triple double. It connects to <laughs> Micron's new G6X the fastest memories ever made. So that's the high end. Then you have the mid-tier card, which is the 3070, which got announced for a price of $499, which Jensen is saying is gonna be equivalent to an RTX 2080 Ti, which essentially makes it so that you're spending $500 on a card that costs $1,200 right now or just previously. So the savings are coming in quite good and you would assume that the 3070 would be per double the performance of the 2070, which is exciting. You're gonna love the new RTX 3070. Faster than the 2080 Ti. Yeah, baby. The Turing Enthusiast GPU priced at $1,200. The new GeForce bucks. RTX 3070. There it is. Rip your 2080 you. Ti's, guys. Ooh. It's a work of art. I like that one. 20 shader teraflops. 40 RT teraflops and 163 teraflops tensor core for AI processing with eight gigabytes of G6. 20 teraflops. The RTX 2080 Ti is only 14. Is faster than the $1,200 RTX 2080 Ti. So that's the exciting stuff of the cards that most of us are going to buy, but that wasn't enough for Jensen to leave us with. He came out with the official Titan replacement, now going to be known as the RTX 3090 and coming in at the price point of $1,500. <laughs> and it's a triple slot. 3090 Damn. is a beast, a ferocious GPU, a BF GPU, 36 <laughs> shader teraflops, 69, RT teraflops, Holy crap. 285 tensor teraflops, and it comes with a massive 24 gigabytes of G6X. 1500. It comes with a silencer, a three you can't slot buy it dual till axle September 24th. flow through design, 10 times quieter and keeps the GPU 30 degrees cooler than the Titan RTX design. But there's more. The 3090 is so big that for the very first time, we can play games at 60 frames per second in 8K. 
This Ooh, is baby. insane. Now, as far as release dates for these cards, Jensen made it seem like the availability for the 3080 would be starting September 17th. The availability for the RTX 3090 would be September 24th, and then the 3070 would be coming out sometime in October. So you have to wait a little while before you're actually gonna be able to get 2080 Ti level performance for $500, but it's exciting to see the performance coming in nonetheless. The 3090 being affectionately known as the Big F GPU. It's a massive, massive boy. And the 3090 is being claimed as the world's first 8K 60 FPS gaming GPU with them bringing in streamers who got to experience it. However, the caveat there is that it's with RTX and DLSS on. But when I played Death Stranding, at 8K on my 8K TV with my 2080 Ti, I got 55 FPS. Doesn't have RTX on, so maybe that's the improvement there, but DLSS does seem to be something that's gonna be improved upon in the next-gen cards, and we could see a new era of gaming coming in. So that's the price. Those are the brief breakdowns. There's other things that NVIDIA announced, such as RTX Broadcast or NVIDIA Broadcast, I can't remember the exact name, which essentially is gonna be a one-stop shop for all your streaming needs, including RTX Voice with noise removal, RTX green screen replacement for the background, and then some weird camera tracking technology that follows you while you're streaming. I thought that looked super gimmicky. And then also on top of that, there were things for creating machinimas as well as RTX is now gonna be available in Fortnite so that you can play with 12 year olds with all of the reflections and shadows that you could possibly want. RTX on in Fortnite, that's exactly what I wanted. So release dates, as well as pricing, as well as anticipated performance is really good. Obviously take this with a huge grain of salt until we see actual benchmarks coming out, but it's a lot of what we were hoping for. Some of the leaks we were hearing about the pricing actually put the pricing of the 3080 and 3070 too high. They're coming in $100 less than we expected, whereas the 3090 is coming in at $100 more than we expected. But the good news is the Founders Edition model for the 3080 and 3070 do appear to be dual slot cards, whereas the 3090 is going to be a triple slot behemoth. It was, it was so, so, so massive. Obviously, that the cooler is coming in with them talking about how they're increasing airflow while reducing noise and kind of combining the traditional blower style cooler with a pass through fan that allows your case to take care of the rest of the heat that's being dissipated by the card. And then for everybody who is scared of the PlayStation 5's insane IO compression for their SSDs and how Sony's been talking up about how their game compression is going to work a lot better. Well, Nvidia has a solution for that as well. Faster IO processing is going to allow for GPUs to actually compete with the next gen consoles with it taking half a GPU core to actually process the same amount of compressed data that we could potentially see coming out in future games. So that's a huge, awesome win for gamers, for sure. Today, we're announcing NVIDIA RTX IO with three new Show advances. me, baby. New IO APIs for fast loading and streaming directly from SSD to GPU memory. Damn. GPU lossless decompression and collaboration with Microsoft on direct storage for Windows that streamlines the transfer of data from storage to GPU memory. And Jensen confirming that Ampere is indeed on Samsung, not TSMC, and it's gonna be on the eight nanometer setup. There was no mention of a traversal coprocessor as some people had speculated. There was no announcement of DLSS 3.0 as there's been some rumor about. A lot of it was just enhancements on the pure stuff that we were expecting. So for the most part, it does look like these cards are better than what the rumors had even indicated that they were. And you can be notified of when they go on pre-order right now. So let me know what you think of the new RTX cards. Is this exactly what you were looking for? Are you planning on buying these new GPUs? I want to hear from you down below in the comments. Or are you alternatively waiting for AMD to come out with their big Navi cards? Is that kind of what you want to see is see what AMD has for their competition, which again, we have no idea when they're going to be announcing anything. They haven't kind of given us the skinny on when that's going to happen. So let us know what you think of the RTX 30 series down below in the comments. 2080 Ti level performance for $500. Is that exactly what you want? Let me know.